At the time of my visit, there was no school in this village. The village has a school now, but the school is an uncompleted building, accommodating about three different classes concurrently. As the children grow and the number of pupils here increase, they have to move from kindergarten to class one. The first batch of pupils is now in class two. Their classes are held under these trees. This building, accommodating the three classes concurrently, is actually a Methodist church. The church arranged for these teachers to help the children here. Teaching here is no joke, the teachers tell me, but they consider their presence here critical. Well, because the children are in the community just like that, and then the way uh, the schools nearby are quite far, so we decided to come together. Teaching here is very challenging. We are coping because we don't have the facilities. We have here four classes. So when your friend is, your colleague teacher is teaching, you know, the attention of the pupils are divided. So in that case, we don't have materials. We have uh, learning materials around to, and that's a whole lot. Abigail Akwete has been teaching here since the school started in 2014. She tells me the children here are intelligent, but that may amount to nothing if this school does not get materials to facilitate teaching and learning. They are very good. If we have uh, logistics and stuff like that, I think we have a headway for the school. So we are pleading on the government or any NGO to come to our aid and help us. I was told a sole benefactor came in to help put up a classroom block here, but they tell me he was involved in an accident, so the project has stalled. We are having a school named Meteris Primary Kindergarten School. But this school has uh, from kindergarten to primary two, and we are having six teachers teaching at the field. But unfortunately, what is the challenge for we, for we in the community is school block or school what? Uh, classrooms. So we are appealing to you, the government or the Joy FM, that if possible, we can have uh, and some NGO of uh, some people who can help us so that we have a school block for our community. But by the next year that we are going to have class three, that means that we are going to put a new uh, maybe we will have a school block or either we will make a shed for them. This is how school feels like when classes are threatened by rain. 